Ricky, how long you been raising livestock? Uh, it's been, I say, 40 years or more. Because I started showing cows when I was in uh, seventh grade. All your life you've been on the farm? I've been on the farm. This how, is it. This the last 15 years I've been in the school system, but I still got my farm. I got my wife, my granddaughter. Yeah, I, that's why that bull hollering. One thing about like that cow bullying, you know that bulls up there cutting up? Uh-huh. I mean, it's nature. He can smell them. A bull can smell up to a mile. He can smell a cow up to a mile that she's in heat. So this ain't a mile. He can smell them way over here. And they cutting up about, you know, they need to come to the to the cow. Unblock. Get out of there. You don't worm that all on yeah, your feet. She, she was eating on one block. There it is. If it wasn't for the flies, mm -hmm. the cow would be in good shape, which they still are in good shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to do some fly bait. There's a lot of flies on each cow. No, no, I just, I just, whenever, maybe twice a week, three times a week, I come check on. Well, I come feed them, but I, I come check on about every other day. Every two days, I come check on. It's time for them to move out of this pasture here until another pasture. When I get the hay cut, get the hay off, I'm going to let them have that field down there. They clean the wrong side of the fence and clean all that up. So they rotate, you rotate. So I rotate, they rotate. About how many we try, we cows? Try to rotate. In... About how many is in here? It's a. Uh, it was 32. Ought to be ready at 38, 38, 40. I see a lot of new baby cats. A new baby. I put all of the young, the young mama and old mamas, I put them together. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason for that? Well, still me having to put out different bulls. We're going to put one bull in here. He'll stay 90 days. We'll take him out. We'll put another bull in here. Keep rotating the bull so one bull won't wear itself out. But one bull should cover 30 or 40 cows easy by itself. Well, I, I do artificial insemination, uh, which is, uh, it's, uh, it's an EPD on that artificial insemination, which is expecting pregnancy dips in. You get to pick what bull you want for each cow. Okay. You know. And one of your cows won at the. Uh, yeah, one of my so Angus cows. A commercial heifer won the, uh, the 2023 Southern Lockstar Show this year. How did you all get her here? Ma'am? How did you all get her from Africa? Well, Doc, Doc lives in Texas. He got a little ranch up there and he bought her down here. Okay. He bought her down here. And uh, that black cow right here, uh. she'll kill Nia. Okay. Kill Nia if I'm pronouncing it right. But, uh, they big frame cow, mm -hmm. and 
cold. We put some good bulls on these cows, and they, they throw some good cans. They throw some good baby cans. They're very mm. healthy looking. Mm. Uh, they ain't crazy. <laughs> Like about they ain't Nothing in that either. So all the cows have names? Yeah, you give them names just like your students on the school bus. You know. You, you know, you want them to six we had years. we had her ever since she was three months old. She's six years old now. So she basically been raised here. Yeah, she's been raised on the farm. How do you like being raised on the farm? I just like horses and chickens and pigs. Get out of there, Red. Get out of there, Red. Get out of there. That's our cow. No, they're not here. You got to see the cow. Some of these little baby cats, the little baby bulls, after they get cats raised, they'll have a name. They'll be T-Bone, Steak, Hamburger. You know, that, that's going to be their name. That's T-Bone. That, that's, that's what we name. <laughs> Elaine, before you met your husband, did you do this kind of work? No, ma'am. Ma did you ma ever think you would? No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about it now? Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. My oldest daughter, she wasn't a, she was brought up on it, but she moved off. She went out to college, and then she just ventured out into other well, things. Well, she got started in basketball. Yeah. And then um, Kanisha and RJ always been around. I'm working, but They'll, they do come help on the phone. Yeah. Okay. Just like if I'm doing something else, they will come over here and get the bike and check the cow, and make sure that water trawl and stuff is good. RJ will help him yeah. pull a cow or okay. whatever. RJ is helping um, um, what you do, work them or whatever. So you got Herbert, Angus, Simitol, Brangus. Uh, Those are the four major things that we have out here. Get all that out of there. Yeah. Yeah. 